How does the discovery of a whole new hidden world in the Earth's core sound to you? If it sounds exciting and is something you would want to know more about, then you are in the right place. In today's video, we will be talking about a hidden world that was recently discovered in the Earth's inner core. Not only is this discovery an amazing one, but it is also going to change decades-old theories that scientists, seismologists, and geophysicists all had about the Earth's inner core. Interested in learning more amazing and mind-blowing stuff like this? Then join us on our exciting exploration and adventure by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Remember to also put on the notification bell so you don't miss any important updates from us. Ready to learn and explore this hidden world? Let's go! If you've read Jules Verne's 1864 publication on Journey to the Center of the Earth, or watched the more recent movie adaptation, you might have believed that the core of the Earth is a hollow, mystical, and stunning place. However, this theory has been debunked since the 1950s. We now know that the Earth's core is not hollow. The Earth's inner core has always been shrouded in mystery. No one knows what is really inside it. Why, you might ask? After all, there are now a lot of technologically advanced devices that should be able to help us study almost anything. Well, the reason the interior of the Earth is still mostly unexplored is because the Earth's inner core gives off an immense amount of heat and pressure that is too great for any human or technological device to withstand. The estimated temperature of the Earth's core is between 5,000 and 7,000 degrees Celsius. This is almost double the temperature required to melt diamond, which is the hardest substance in the world. It is also said that for humans to be able to extensively study the Earth's core, a big disaster that will rip the Earth's core apart will have to occur. And nobody wants that, right? The deepest hole ever drilled on the Earth is the Kola Deep borehole in Russia. It is just over 12 kilometers, 7.6 miles. It is only about 0.2% towards the center of the Earth, and even that took 20 years. How, then, are scientists able to get any information about the Earth's core? Most of the knowledge we have about the Earth's core are vibrations and seismic waves, readings gotten from the Earth's surface. These readings are taken during earthquakes or when the tectonic plates of the Earth shifts. These readings are then used to reconstruct a picture of the planet's interior. Irving, a seismologist, said it is akin to a CT scan of a person. The two basic types of waves that can be obtained from these readings are straight-line compressional waves and undulating shear waves. Depending on the media they pass through, these waves can accelerate, slow down, or bounce. So, about this new hidden world in the Earth's core. How did it come to be, and who discovered it? Let's go find out these details. For many decades, the scientific community had always believed that the Earth's inner core was a solid ball surrounded by a liquid outer core. They thought that the inner core was a solid ball that was made up of compressed iron alloys. However, recent findings have discovered that this might not be the case. Before we delve fully into that, let's give a piece of basic information on the Earth's layers. The Earth has four layers. Three layers are solid, while the remaining one is liquid. The four layers of the Earth are the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. The Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is like the shell of a boiled egg. It is thin, brittle, and cold. It is the part of the Earth that we walk on every day. 
Depending on the geophysical location, the crust's thickness may vary. The thickest part of the Earth's crust is about 70 kilometers, 43 miles, thick, and lies under the Himalayan mountains. The elements that make up the crust are relatively light elements, like oxygen, silica, and aluminum. The crust can be broken down into big pieces called tectonic plates. The convergence, breaking down, or pulling apart of these plates are what cause most earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The crust makes up only 1% of the Earth's volume. The mantle. The mantle is about 30 kilometers below the Earth's surface, and it is mainly made up of iron, magnesium, and silicon. It carries the bulk of the Earth, about 84%. It is semi-liquid, malleable, and is divided into two layers, the upper and lower mantle. Since diamonds are formed at 200 kilometers and below, we can say that diamonds are a part of the mantle that we can touch and see. Rare diamonds are formed as deep as 700 kilometers below the Earth's crust. They are then brought to the surface via volcanic rocks known as kimberlite. In terms of temperature and texture, the mantle is similar to the crust as it is also cool and rigid. The outer core. The outer core is in liquid form and is about 700 kilometers below the Earth's crust. It is made of iron and it surrounds the inner core. It is extremely hot with a temperature of about 6,100 degrees Celsius and it is about 2,200 kilometers thick. This core is heated by the churning of radioactive elements like uranium. This churning also generates electrical currents, which in turn generates the Earth's magnetic field. Without the Earth's magnetic field protecting us, our planet would be very barren, like that of Mars. The inner core. The inner core is the deepest layer of the Earth, and it is made up of nickel and iron. It is as hot as the surface of the sun. It has been previously believed that because of the high pressure inside it, the inner core is solid. However, as we will discover later in the course of the video, that notion has changed. Now, this new and hidden world in the Earth's core, how did it come to be? Here's how. While trying to understand how seismic waves move through different layers of the Earth, Rhett Butler, a geophysicist at the Institute of Geophysics and Planetology, discovered that some seismic waves moving through the Earth's core were deflected. This wasn't normal. If the Earth's core was indeed a solid ball, the waves passing through it should be going in a straight direction instead of being deflected. This made Butler go a step further to compare other readings from the study. There, he and his co-author ascertained that the waves that they observed signified that rather than being totally solid, the Earth's core had pockets of liquid and mushy semi-solid iron. In Butler's words, we've seen evidence that not only is it not soft everywhere, it's really hard in some places. He further went on to say, it's got hard surfaces right up against melted or mushy iron, so we're seeing a lot of detail within the inner core that we didn't see before. Basically, what Butler is saying is that contrary to decades worth of belief, that the innermost part of the Earth is solid. There is now evidence su to suggest that there is another whole mushy world hidden in the solid's Earth core. Irving confirmed this and said, The more that we look at it, the more we realize it's not one boring blob of iron. We're finding a whole new hidden world. Now, what exactly does this exciting discovery mean for the world of science? This fascinating discovery has the potential to change our understanding of the Earth's magnetic field. 
it could also mean textbooks might have to be rewritten. We mentioned earlier that the liquid layer of the Earth's core is what powers the Earth's magnetic field, while the inner core helps to sustain it. This discovery, that enclosed within the Earth's core is another hidden world mushy of iron mixture, will be better helpful for scientists and geophysicists to understand the relationship that exists between the Earth's core and the Earth's magnetic activities. Unlike other planets like Mercury, Venus, and Mars that lack a magnetic field, the Earth's magnetic field is very powerful and is powered by dynamic forces at the planet's core. The magnetic field helps to protect us from the erosion of the atmosphere that is caused by the solar wind. In simpler terms, the magnetic field shields us from charged particles that the sun throws at us. This discovery might make us understand how to better utilize this magnetic field to protect the Earth better. So there you have it, everything you need to know about the discovery of the new and mushy world present in the Earth's core. What else do you think we might discover as time goes on? Feel free to share your theories in the comments section. With this discovery, one can only wonder how much more there is to discover about our fascinating world. But don't worry, you can always trust us to provide you with information about any discoveries. Just make sure you subscribe to our channel and put on the notification bell. Don't forget to share this video with other knowledge enthusiasts like you. Until next time!